and 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 like michael said we had um we had over 60 affidavits of parents that gave their stories of their personal children we had actually hundreds of parents contact us but some of them were not uh you know were scared you know to put their name yeah. on the affidavits etc um but just hundreds of stories of children that were just suffering in different ways as a result of this i remember one of the stories that was in court where a mother testified where her child was having panic attacks at night and having to sleep on the floor. She had to sleep on the floor with him, uh, I think because they set up like a cot type thing so she could sleep with him because he was having panic attacks every single night because he thought he was gonna die. He thought his friends were gonna die. He thought everybody was gonna die because they had all been exposed. We, we know parents that went, that were opposed to vaccinating their child and they went and vaccinated their kid just to make their life easier. And they, they said, look, we just can't deal with, we, we, don't, we both have to work. We can't be home with our child, you know, for 10 and 20 and 30 days. So it's just easier for us to go ahead and get the vaccine. The school did that. They promoted these children getting vaccines and they should be held accountable to that also. Yeah, for sure. And then going back just to our court case, you know, like like we said, Judge Andrews ruled in our favor um, that they were discriminating against kids. As I described before, if you have um, people and you put them in any kind of status group, <laughs> so they were putting them into status groups and said, if you're vaccinated, you get privileges. And if you're unvaccinated, you get punishments. 